App Store Subscriptions Shopify App Tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new video. In today's video I'm going to show you how simple it is to install the App Store app or subscription app into your store and that will help you to retain the customers for the boxes, the bundles and the promotion also the monthly subscriptions. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The goal or the objective from this app is going to retain the customers, build up here a relationship with the customers that will last longer. So you are going to get here a recurring um, uh, subscriptions for the customers. So they are going to be right there. Um, uh, go in and uh, return into your store to get their stuff monthly or whatever period that you are going to put. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to head over to Shopify.com. Then you are going to sign in for an account. This is very obvious. So after you have signed in into your account, you are going to see here the admin dashboard of your Shopify store. Now, once you are here, you are going to click on the search bar and type in AppSol. So app store like that, you're going to see here normally the app in case you are not going to see it, you're going to search for it on the uh, Shopify app store. So this is it. You're going to see the app and also the resembling apps that could do the same work. So this is the app. I'm going to click on it. Uh, here we have uh, the, uh, as you can see, the badge of built for Shopify. That means that it will, will work. Uh, properly in the uh, Shopify store of ours and we have a free option to install and so a free uh, trial available we are going to click on install and then we are going to permit the installation for the app into our store I'm going to click on install and now we are going to see the subscription right away now I'm going to pin this app to the navigation or to the app section so we are not going to lose the sight of it in case you are going to install many apps. Now, what are we going to do is to set up the onboarding right there. So start selling my products as a subscription. This is the first step that you are going to face. So you are going to click on a next step. Once you are here, you are going to create a the subscription plan for you. You're going to give it a name. For example, here we are going to type in a shoe or uh, every every month, for example, shoe uh, like that month. So here you are going to select the products. So either you are going to browse by collection or uh, browse by the product. So I'm going to add this shoe. So this is it. And now what are we going to do is to add the uh, subscription frequency. So this is, as you can see, a monthly subscription. You can edit that. You're going to see here the billing type, uh, pay as you go. For example, this is the auto renew. Or you can go ahead and put the prepaid auto renew, prepaid separate order or uh, whatever. So the order frequency is going to be one every month, for example, or every week, every year. Every day is not going to be something that we can count on, but the monthly and the yearly one is going to be something that we can count on. So the display content, as you can see here, the frequency name show description could go ahead and add a description for this. You are, for example, going to get a uh, for example one shoe we are going to precise one shoe uh one shoe for your uh, selected for example uh, let's say here size and uh you are going to get all for example all the colors of your choice so uh, here you are going to for example you are going to put a description you are going to be uh, here build every for example let's say here um, uh, 30 for example 
every 30 days and here until you are going to cancel the subscription so we are subs subscription like that and we are going to put it like this here we have the charge on specific days you're going to put here the third so we are going to select days um 30 so cutoff days i don't know so we're going to put it here select day or cutoff is going to be here uh, for the offer incentives, you can offer a discount or flat rate, for example, percentage of the uh, 5%. If you are going to put these, the policies on fulfillment, I'm going to click on done. If you want to add one from scratch, you can go ahead and click on add here, a new frequency plan, and then you are going to click on save. And here we have the subscription plans set up. So once here everything is set, what are we going to do is to go live with the Absol subscription widget. We're going to uh, here select or follow up the steps. The first step is go to the Shopify. I'm going to click on it. Then we are going to uh, visit the live theme editor. We are going to click on the right corner, right hand corners, click on save on the changes. So that means that we have an app that is going to be activated we are going to click on save here and normally it will show up here instead on the product page here we have it so this is the subscribe and save so you are going to get here the monthly subscription so this is the subscription that we have added so you can go ahead and see the subscription details and here we have it it is powered by Absol. So you can go ahead and click on buy it now, add it to cart, and here we have it. So this is the 5% after we have selected the product. So they are going to get a discount after a subscription, and here we have it. So everything is set up, so you can go ahead and start selling just like this. So this is it. Now let's talk about, about the plans that are available for the App Store. So we have the free plan, we have the starter, the business, the business premium, and the enterprise. So each one of these plans are going to be here setting up some premium features that you are not going to see them on the Android account. So here we can see that we have the um, cost of each one of the plans. Now we are going to see the subscriptions. You can see here the subscriptions that you have. We have here the budgets. I think that the screen is stuck, so we are going to refresh a little bit here at the page. We're going to see normally the elements from here. Uh, I'm going to select here the uh, free plan. So it was setting up here the billing. So I'm going to use naturally the free plan, for instance. But there we are going to see the uh, here the subscription plans. You can add here, for example, also a loyalty program to uh, save for right there or create a subscription plan, for example, like that. Another one from here. I'm going to discard these changes. Here we have the widgets. We have the customer portal. So you are going to get here some configuration to the custom portal about the product actions, the skip and queue, the skip and queue actions, and whatever. You're going to see here some more options like the uh, subscription management, the revenue boosters, some integration and some migration guide. And here at the end, we have the analytics. So you are going to see here the revenue that you've got from the subscription app or the subscription option that uh, AppStore has gave you. So you can go ahead here and manage the uh, gains and also the revenues and here for the subscription you can go ahead and export subscription or view the customers create manual subscription cancellation management dunning management tag management and etc so basically here the app is a complete app or the integration is very complete so you are not going to need something else to help you 
uh, manage and also run the subscription from there so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one